Remember when clowns were associated with fun? Well, tonight, parents all across the metro are on edge because of creepy clown threats. Yeah, just today, Jefferson County Schools sent letters home to parents after hearing about a new threat. And Denver 7's Lance Hernandez is joining us now tonight. And Lance, this is scary, but so far, thankfully, it's all been a hoax. Oh, that's the good news. Yeah. I can tell you that police and school security have spent countless hours investigating these reports and talking to students, checking the surrounding areas, even looking at security tape. So far, they have found no credible threats, but parents are not amused. 5290 Kimbridge got a report that a student saw a clown across the street and a clown grabbed her. Attempted to kidnap her. Happened at 8:20 this morning. Police radios are crackling with sightings of clowns. There are some out there. A viewer sent us this photo of a clown in City Park. I don't think it's funny. I, I don't think as adults we should be dressing up as clowns scaring kids. This mom went to have lunch with her daughter today only to find out that Soar Charter School had been placed on lockdown because of a threat. She says comments about clown threats are all over social media. And the sad part is I've had to delete friends that think that this is funny, that they want to go downtown on a Friday or Saturday night and dress up like a clown to scare people. There's some fourth grade girls were very, very upset. Jeff Coast School spokeswoman Diana Wilson says security personnel spent a half day Thursday checking out a report of clowns near one elementary school. So we had security go on site, interview the kids, look in cars, look around the property, check our video surveillance tape. Nothing was found on the security tape. The threat? Unfounded. Security consultant David Firester says kids and parents still have to take the clown reports seriously. Stating that quite simply, if you're approached by anyone or you encounter anyone who's wearing something over their face, uh, you need to run the other way. You need to alert the nearest adult, the nearest police officer. David Firester says some of the clown hoaxes are similar to swatting incidents. The reports generate an emergency police response to a particular location. The location exists, but the emergency does not. He says parents need to talk to their children and tell them not to engage with or talk to a clown unless they've authorized it. Shannon? A strange and unnerving trend these days. Thanks, Lance, very much. And make sure to download the free Denver 7 app. On it, we have a full list of where these clowns have been reported across Colorado.